Hi, my name is David from the Toronto Parks and Trees Foundation, the official funding partner of Toronto's Parks, Recreation and Forestry Division. Today in this video, we're going to be going through proper tree planting and care so you in turn can teach others how to properly plant and care for their trees for a long and healthy life. We're going to be using a red oak tree about a meter tall, uh, but the steps are just about the same for any other young tree you'd like to plant. During your event, we recommend that you host uh, training sessions at staggered times so that way people don't have to wait if they come midway through a training session. Try to gauge how many people you're going to be expecting for your events. That way you can set up times and the number of volunteers for your event. And it's okay if you have a small group to train or even if you're training them one-on-one. -on -one. In the end, we want these trees properly planted in the ground. First things first, as a trainer, you need to be conscious of the group of people you're going to be training. Here at the Toronto Parks and Trees Foundation, we value diversity, equity and inclusion and we expect that all partners and volunteers of Tree For Me incorporate the same values and treat all the participants with dignity and respect. Here are some considerations. When planning your event, be aware of cultural or religious accommodations needed, for example, dietary requirements and dates of religious holidays. The registration process may also depend on who you're reaching out to. If members of your community do not have access to a computer, you can have an outreach plan that includes manual registration or provide assistance through your agency so as to include everybody in your event. Ensure your venue is accessible and be aware that they may be participants who have difficulty hearing or seeing. During your demonstration, try to speak slowly and clearly. Do not put your back to people as you train them and make sure that everybody has the opportunity to see your actions and your face. Look into having interpreters, sign and other languages available for your event beforehand. At the event, avoid technical jargon when possible. Be sure to explain complicated terms clearly and precisely and be prepared to answer questions or give clarifications as needed. Allow time for simultaneous translations and be sure your participants have had a chance to understand your message before you move on to the next subject. For more information, you can also review the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act training at the link we'll provide. As an organization that serves a community, you know your community the best, so we trust that you can best deliver a Tree For Me event that is inclusive and accessible. Before you begin, it may be a good idea to give people a general understanding of the importance of this initiative. You can emphasize that trees have long-term benefits and that the investment of planting a tree today will have an impact that you can see throughout its entire life. If you are asked questions that you're not really sure the answer to, it's okay to email us and we'll try our best at the Toronto Parks and Trees Foundation to give you an answer to that question. It's important to remember as well. Do not give landscaping advice, as that's not covered during this training, and we're not landscapers.